I'm going to try to show you how to do some uh, chord uh, substitutions. There, it's not a total substitution like saying playing a D minor instead of a D. It's uh, just a different way to play in uh, the same chords, but uh, making them an add nine or a minor seven or a sus four. I'm just going to take the uh, last kiss and I'll show you how to use different chords for it. Okay, I'm gonna, instead of a regular old G, I'm gonna do a G5, and that's a uh, second finger on the sixth string, third fret, and then my third finger is on the second string, third fret, and my pinky is on the first string, third fret. And then I go to an E minor seven, which would be just like playing an E minor with your second or third finger, but I'm keeping my third and my pinky finger stationed on the first and second string. So what I do when I go to E minor 7, I put my uh, first finger on the fifth string second fret and my second finger on the fourth string second fret. Then I go up to a C add 9, which uh, my second finger is on the fifth string third fret and my first finger is on the fourth string second fret. And then from there, you can just go right to a D sus4, which is uh, first finger, second fret, third string. So you get this. sound because you have a pedal point going on these two strings. So it's going. So it gives that little. And a pedal point is just um, a note that keeps playing, a stationary note, while chords change around the note, or notes change around the notes. It's like if I did a crazy train, this is the pedal point. So it's going back to that. Or they'll use a, like, with open strings. And that's the pedal point, or pedal tone. Like I was playing uh, Looks at Kill uh, by Motley Crue. I know it's a rock distorted song, but I can do it on this acoustic. So. Something like a little A and G chord there while well, this keeps doing that. 